Hey guys, we are back. We have a 2007 Ford Explorer. This one has the uh, V8 in it, and we have a weeping water pump. So, we're just going to go through the process, kind of tearing it down, and we're going to get in and replace that water pump. Um, <clears throat> let's see, to start off on this thing, we just need to gain access to everything. So, we're going to be removing our intake. I will be removing the the coolant bottle here and we're gonna have to pull this upper radiator hose back so we can get our fan shroud out if yours is broken right here you don't have to remove that but mine has since been repaired um and then we can remove the fan and the, the four bolts to get that water pump out um you will need a specialty tool to remove that fan I had this. This is going to be to hold the pulley, and this is going to be to break the nut loose so we can actually go ahead and get that taken care of and taken off. And then, um, yeah, so really this is a very, very straightforward process. I am probably taking a little bit more out than is necessary as far as this. You might be able to sneak down there to get the fan off to get everything out. I just want more room to do stuff. So without further ado, let's get started here with these guys just a couple hose clamps I'm just gonna remove the whole thing on both ends these guys has a little green tab right here you can just push and pull to kind of get those out of the way break our bond with that and kind of set it aside and as you look down here you can actually see right where that water pump is <clears throat> get you down here so this is our electronic fan clutch that goes on this and then right here is our water pump it's gonna have four bolts on it and then that fan clutch and so hmm I'm wondering. No, I'm just gonna do that. So I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try not to remove this. We're gonna remove the fan and just set it back in here and down, and then get that water pump out. So let's set you back up. So let's see. Hold it. Push it together. Oh, there it goes. Woo. Ta da! Now I bought these. I just bought it from the hardware store. Not the hardware store, the auto parts store. I'm not sure exactly how much they ran, but. I'll see if I can find a link to put in the description for it. They're good to have in my opinion, just... So then this will just spin off. Got my hand down here, just I don't want it to fall and damage it on the radiator. Just like that, you know. Back there, like that. And then these guys, we've got to do something with our pulley. 
and everything on there. Let's see if we can zoom you in some more here. That hose is right anyway. Let's see if I can come on the other side. Oh, this is so much better. Okay. Let's see if we can bust those loose. millimeter variety and so I'm just I'm leaving the belt on right now to loosen those hopefully that'll give me a little bit more leverage without that pulley spinning so we can loosen them. Let's go down here. Yeah. We got those loosened. Now we can slip that belt off. That being said, they're just a little three eighths guy. Not a three eighths guy, sorry. A half inch guy. The bottom of this. Just in that belt tensioner. Just loosen that. Push it in. And we'll just slide it off. And I can just reach my hand and I can just take the rest of these pulley bolts out by hand. One more at the top. And then Kind of grabbed. You saw I'm just gonna wiggle the pulley out, and then you can see the water pump there. If yours is stuck on there harder than that, you can usually get this little pry bar action back there and just kind of walk it off either side. <clears throat> so it's sitting there in there like this. One, two, three, four. It is just gasketed with an O ring around that. So that's all we need to slide it out. So these are 13. go just use my ratchet with a little short extension on there I'll run the rest out with my little electric guy
Now that we got the four bolts out, I'm going to just kind of grab the water pump and walk it back and forth. Have a bucket to catch any coolant that falls. There we go. That's one water pump out. It's getting some leakage from this guy right here, is where I was weeping out down and go get some paper towels to clean up and then get the new one installed. That, that's what's going to look like right there. Oops. We got it all out. So what we're going to do is we're going to lubricate the new O-ring with um, just a little bit of that uh, coolant. Then we're going to reassemble it. Say it, the other one. Stay up by itself. So you kind of jiggle it into its spot. All these in just hand tight. Let's slow them down. I'm starting them all by hand so we know there's no cross threading. Run it down here with my little ratchet.
the way they did that, I could actually see the water pump pull itself in. I went boop, boop. It's kind of nice to get that visual of everything snugging down. Not sure the torque spec on this. Um, I am just snugging it down. They weren't very tight to begin with. Um, there we go. Four bolts down, now we just need to put our pulley on. Now, it may look square as far as these guys go, but as far as these guys go right here, but I can tell you it is a little offset, so you have to get it on there just the right way to make sure it goes. Just fine. Perfect. All right, those were just those ten millimeters. Now let's get that serpentine belt kind of back up where it needs to go and slip it back on. Big one. There we go. Just make sure it's the belt that fully engaged around everything that needs to be now the last one of the last pieces let's get that fan back up in place lift it up line it up Spin it the opposite direction. Tell 
hits. And then I just like to get my tool. Just kind of push it over like that. Last but not least, I like to, after all that coolant is spilled, I like to just kind of pour a bucket of water over this just to make sure there isn't any residue. Most likely that belt's going to squeal anyway, but let's see if we can stop it from happening. A bucket of water. Put our snorkel back on. And whenever I'm doing something like this, I will always use new coolant. I'm not a fan of reusing something once it's already been out. So let's take our radiator cap off. And we are going to fill all this back up with coolant and um, bleed the system. Then once, that, once that's done, job's done, guys. So this took about 45 minutes. I'm going to cut it down from there, but 45 minutes, very simple. First, I thought I was going to be taking this off and the, the degas, or not the degas, the coolant bottle and everything, but plenty of room in there. All I need is a 10 millimeter, a 13 millimeter, and then a, a fan clutch tool for that fan to get that off. Um, if you don't own one, I know a lot of auto parts stores will rent them. I will put a link in the description for the fan clutch tool and for that water pump. Water pump is cheap. It's like 50, 60 bucks on Amazon. So anywho, if you guys like what you saw here, please thumbs up, thumbs up, um, throw us that like button and, uh, subscribe and you know what else to do. We'll see you all later.